The trains are just being tested now to ensure safety. I hope it will be easier for you students to, com to commute between your home and your school. It was also our administration that extended the LRT to Pasig and Marikina. And now we are building the North Rail to Bulacan and Clark and connecting the North Rail and South Rail towards Lucena. That one is work that will not be finished in the next few months. It will hopefully be finished in over two years from now. But we have started it. I like, I'm glad that the that students of Malolos were able to come here. I guess the reason why you could come here is that we have already improved the NLEX. And for those who don't want to even pay the toll in the NLEX, we have even improved the North Road. 10 years ago, if you had been invited to come here from Malolos, I don't think you would have made it but now it's fairly convenient. That is part of the benefits of the Luzon Urban Beltway. We will continue hands-on government until the day we leave office. And to that end, we will promote the key initiatives our government has advanced since we took office. We will focus on three areas. One, Bringing more power and growth to each region and decongest Manila. That's why I talked about the urban Luzon Beltway. Two, promoting the importance of what I call the three E's, education, the economy, and the environment, to our efforts to create sustainable and equitable development. And finally, a focus on you, the youth of our nation, as our best hope for a brighter, better Philippines. We have made progress in many areas, but more needs to be done. For instance, as I said, those railroads up to Bulacan and Clark and up to the widened air railroad up to Lucena, that still has to be completed. Everything our government has worked hard to achieve has been to make the future brighter for you, the next generation of Filipinos. You, the youth of our nation, are our hope and inspiration. Everything we must do must be to build a better life for each and every young nation in this nation, young person in this nation. While I am proud of what our government has achieved, past achievements are as only good as the ability of the nation to grow and prosper. I hope that the progress we have made will not stop, that what remains to be done will be picked up by you, the next generation of leadership. As a nation, we must keep our sights firmly set on the future to build on what is good and work even harder to meet the challenges of what remains to be done. And you, the youth of our nation, are the bridge between the past and the future. It is for you that we right the wrongs, fight for change, and seek to make a brighter day. Our nation has come far, but as I said, it still has far to go. And you, the youth, represent the aspirations of our nation. It is to you that we dedicate the efforts of our government to lift up the Philippines. And the foundation for opportunity is education. I'm sure you all know, or at least your parents know, that's why they sent you to school here, to Central Escolar with its five awards. Congratulations, Dr. Padodina. A good education is the key to a better life. It opens minds and opens doors. And that is the reason why we have had this partnership with CEO, CEU, the scholarships. The scholarships here are among the 600,000 scholarships we've already been able to provide for college level students. And even in high school, Almost half of private high school students are government scholars through God's fair and the education voucher system. A strong education must be accompanied by a strong backbone of technology, which is why we are strengthening math, science, and English in grade school, connecting public high schools to the internet, 
and providing scholarships for masters and doctorates in science and engineering. I have a deep desire to see a brighter future for the hardworking men and women of this nation. But most importantly, I have an abiding interest in seeing that you, the young people of today, come into your own in your time, seize the value of education and modernity, and use these tools to advance yourselves and the nation. So I come here to touch base with you and to pay homage to the over 100 years of molding young people's minds that is the great achievement of Centro Escolar University. Maraming salamat sa inyo lahat. Thank you very much, Madam President. We are greatly honored by your presence today.